So we've got this side finished. That's top of the, obviously, What have we got? Bacon and egg. On toast. The uh, starter packs do come in handy for some things. Stick your laser level on. Can you just switch that on please mate? Uh, happy Sunday. Sunday the 17th. Yep. It's a... Uh, what is it? A week to Christmas Day or a week to Christmas Eve? A week till Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve or week today. I've had a comment yesterday complaining that um, on the 15th of December the video was only the 15th of October. 5th of October. It's like, yeah, what? we don't do daily vlogs. We, we film our stuff and put it out as, as we do it. Putting two videos out a week, so... So just put yes. It comes out when it comes out. We, we, we're not... Um, Date perfect. But anyway, I'll tell you what. We'll do this then. If you want to, if you want to become a member, you can come to our house and watch us edit the video. Yeah, yeah. So customers asked us to move these. So they've got the drive back. Um, so we're going to take all the drive ones around the back and the honeycomb all the wet ones at the bottom around the back of the skips and that way. That's first job. Um, everything's set up yesterday. I uh, made sure everything was loaded, lines up, profiles are up, so we're going to blast in the last of that wall, three courses and three courses block. Spoke to Neil about wall plate heights and stuff, so we know where where everything roughly is now. We can get everything up to wall plate height, but we haven't got any wall plates obviously because it's Sunday. Once we've done that, we're going to drop it over onto the other side. No, we're not going to get the block work up first. Uh, we've got the two brick pillar on the left, which we don't need to scaffold for that. I can take, the, take that right to the top. Uh, take the block weight right up to the top from the inside of a hop up and the other side is just a bit of a pillar and a bit of running in to do and then we can swap the scaffold back over to let me think yeah just to get the corner the little corner bit we'll see we'll see how we get on anyway but ordering the steel tomorrow morning and seeing when they can get it here hopefully jm is just the same as everybody else and having a quiet week so they can turn it around quick for us it's a 6b4 angle iron with a 330 plate welded on it, 8 mil thick. So you've got your steel for the roof and you've got your flat plate for the brickwork. And then um, I've spoke to Neil about Dell Tall Carpenters method of cladding it with a um, hardy backer because it's, it's it sticks well and it's insulated so it avoids the, well it doesn't avoid it but it helps the cold bridge because of the steel. And we'll obviously fill the cavity with insulation as well, do as best we can with it. So. Um, that's enough waffling, let's get these bricks moved and then Alex can get a mix and we can get cracking. Right, battle plan as ever, lots of fiddly bits to do. These are all cuts to the top now. Got a couple of course from blocks cut. These are these are surplus, these hundreds now, they're, they're for that corner, which we didn't use many of. We used six. Um, there's a piece to be cut for there, four hundreds. These, I think that's a four hundred and a two eighty, obviously alternating. Then they're gonna have a pad stone up here. So I'll need another course and piece from underneath that. I'm going to put just full, full width pad stone on this. I'm going to use that lintel, put that down to 440. And what the off cut is going here. The steel's having 150 seat in either side because that's what our structural engineer specified. So that's what we're going to do. That 100 mil less is 100 mil. It's probably a kilo less to, to lift. <coughs> yeah. um, another little thing here. The uh, starter packs do come in handy for some things. Stick your laser level on. Can you just switch that on, please, mate? Just swivel it back to the door. Oh, there you go. Doesn't matter, leave it there. So that's set to lintel height. So we spin it around to the profile, mate. There's our lintel height. So I'm going to put a bit of tape on that. 
and that's our, our, our line to work off. Hey, I'll, the line's on, but let's take that off, don't we? Yeah. Um, but that's the that's room with my scaffold over here, isn't it? <coughs> that's finished, that's corners up, so that's just running in. <coughs> so we're not returning anything, it's just three quarters straight running in. Yeah. And then again, the block work. And then I've got to sort this out. <coughs> While Alex is running in up there, I'll drop down here. Get me down course on, start the block work. Probably get about half a dozen on. Like, like, I'll leave it for a bit. <coughs> and then we'll top it off. I'll just use the trestle to top it off. There's only two, four, six. Five to go on to top that off. So um, that's ready for lintel, uh, steel, which we're only ordering tomorrow. And as I said, hopefully they're not busy, so we can get a quick turnaround on it. Weather's forecast crap for next week, the, for the coming week up to Christmas. So we'll just have to work around the weather, see what happens. I'm pretty sure we're just going to have the pike left for after Christmas. So that's our first job back. Which we haven't actually lined any work up yet, so that'll be handy having that. Leave a bit of money on the job and do that first first couple of days back and I think we're not coming back straight back because Alex is going to be in Sweden so I think we're having a week after first week in January off as well so give me give me a hip a chance to feel a bit better not fix itself but just rest it a bit and then we've got something to come back to then and we've got a couple of um, a couple more extensions lined up with Neil so um, let's stop talking and let's get set up Go. 
all loaded up, ready to go. Put the line up in a sec. That's the finished height that line. And the line's not looking, looking too good. Um, that's finished height. For the side, obviously it's probably going to go up another two before it starts racking back for the pike. You've got a wall plate and stuff to put behind here. And then our block work is going to go up to a course higher than that. Which is three straight course and block on top of that. There's our coursing pieces, so it's just three straight block now. We've reset the tire wires, reset the insulation. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's right now. And then it'll be uh, that'll be done. And then it won't take long to get the block working. That's all the blocks. I think it's about 15 blocks. Then this can all be dropped and cleaned up, covered the wall up, cover the insulation up. That's important. We'll have to get some insulation bags out of the skip to cover the wall. Make sure the insulation is kept clean. We'll have to put loads of bricks on because it's got to be, it's got to be stay good for winter. I mean Christmas. About two weeks. Um, we could always um, last things put planks on. Oh yeah. Let's go. My trowel up there. Everything's up here. Yeah. I've got a tape which we don't need. Two trowels, two brick hammers, a bucket trowel, two brick layers, and a partridge in a pear tree. It's very topical, isn't it? You're going to film now or time lapse? I think we'll time lapse, otherwise, the video will be about three hours long.
wrong way around. Uh, looks like it's lunchtime then. What have we got? It's bacon and egg. On toast. Beautiful. Mm. I was offered um, fried rice, mm -hmm. but I'm not hungry today, so I'll save myself for when I'm starving. So I think I've got all the cuts done for now. That'll get us up to Lintel right now. Alex, just one, two, three, three and a bit blocks to go, but the uh, the bacon dry, so that's going to wait till after lunch now. Um, so the plan is to get get this up, get that up, get this up, and get the lintel over today. So we're going to come back after dinner, and Alex is going to bring half a barrel of sand back, and we're going to put half a mix in, which should just get us where we need to be at the end of today. And then we're not here tomorrow because we're going to order the steel, and I've got to go back and finish a fence job. We have a couple of little bits to finish off on it so we can get paid for that one. So we um, will catch it after dinner. There we go, Alex is done. That wall is finished. Well, apart from the wall plate. But, um, yeah, that's finished. So it's jointed, he's going to cover it and he's going to get down. He's going to jump on this at the front. I've just got the pillar up as high as I can reach it. Um, the uh, trestles are going back up there soon, so we don't need to overreach ourselves. I might try and get the face work from the outside on hop ups because we can't stand on the block work now from the inside. So um, we'll muddle around. I'm going to get on this quick. Chuck a load of these on up. Quick as I can. It's probably two o'clock now. Which means the wind is getting up. It's quarter to two. So that's not too bad. So yeah. Still looking nice. Alex is cracking on with that. I'm cracking on with that. See, this is the important one. This needs to be up and solid for the steel going on. That's not too bad. If we get the lint on there today, I'll be happy, but we'll see. And then, like I say, this is the main bit. We've got to get this corner up. We've got to get five on that. And five on that. So, just a quick tip. What are you doing insulation? Around your door door jams where you've got tyres every three every three courses every block. I like this pillar. Like that. You've got tyres every course. Measure your insulation. 30mm back to allow for your cavity closer. And then just cut cut your piece bang in half and you just slot them in around your tie wires as you go. Instead of trying to wrestle them in through the tie wires or cutting them or slotting them. You just cut it straight in half and it just goes in nice and smooth. And another thing, if you're getting, if you are doing a 150 cavity one, try and get hold of this canal stuff. Canal 0.32. Um, we get this one from Selco. Uh, the reason we like that.
like this is, I don't think there's much fiberglass in it. I think it's plastic, insulated plastic bottles, I think. It doesn't smell, it doesn't itch, you get no dust off it. And it, once it's open, it just, it stays at 150. It doesn't keep going like a lot of fiberglass stuff does. So um, I recommend you get this stuff. Um, I think and it's mandatory. Hey? And it's mandatory. No one about the, the, um, the, the brand. All oh, right. So yeah, I'm going to cut myself another couple of pieces now and then cut them down. And also get yourself a decent knife. This one seems to go a bit dull now. But I think it's because you left it in a rusty, uh, rusty yeah. environment for so long. This is a backhoe knife, a folding knife, but you can get the like, fixed knives with longer blades and stuff. But um, we used to cut it with a trowel, you would not cut this stuff with a trowel. Hated it day one. Yeah, that's the good thing about it. it it's tougher, but it's that it's tough where you'd never get your trial through it. So we, we gave in and bought a knife. That's, that's a crack at that. Back over, same as the brick hammer. Swedish made, it should be a good blade. Right, so I'm going to get these cut up and then um, put in. It's a one block pillar, so it's 450. So we want it 30 mil back for the cavity closure, so we now have one hours at 420. Here's the knife. Put <laughs> side down, cut side up.
that was productive. So we got this side finished. That's top of the obviously. I don't know. There we go. That's bottom of wall plate. We just uh, and then that, that side's ready for Limpol. That just needed the one block, but our priority was to get it ready for steel, which it is now. We've got our pad stone there, what, measured at 150, just before anyone says. And then we've got that one there, which just went up the whole length of the pillar. There you go, that's ready for steels. It only sits on 150, but because it's just... It's, it's easier to put, to put that on, yeah. But yeah, that was a... Uh, it's not even fully dark yet, we've only got the light on just for when it does start, but... We did it. Ted's just got his, uh, his brew there ready. Hmm? Well, it wasn't exactly a choice, was it? I either. I still appreciate it. <laughs> but I think that'll be the end of this video, because next video should be steels and then the pike to finish it off. So I will sign out now. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll be notified when we upload. That's always a massive help. And any other support you wish to give, you can do the super thanks underneath the video, or in Dad's description, there's PayPal. Not appreciated, not, um, not appreciated, not necessary, but greatly appreciated. It's very appreciated. But again, not necessary. There we go. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex. Ready for some, ready for some uh, and steels, and we'll see you in the next one.